Hey everyone and in the last lecture we have learned about few of the tools that are applied to the 2D figures. So in this lecture we shall discover more of the tools. So let us draw two lines. Check these two lines are not in touch. And now the tool coincident. The tool coincident stands for this line should be in the direction of this like suppose i will be use a i am clicking on the tool i will select this and this see it is in the direction of this and let us see more to consider this it is in this direction so in this way the coincident tool can be used now suppose i draw a circle and i need this line to be tangent to this circle so i will use the tool tangent this tangent and click the circle first and then this line see if you extend this it would be a tangent so for clear for more clarity and draw a line like this okay then i would click again on the option where yeah tangent click the circle and the point yeah it's clear now so in this way the tangent tool can be used now let us i need this line to be parallel to this line okay so i'll use the tool parallel click on this and then this see these two lines have become parallel yeah this here the configuration of the circle has changed the reason is because we have mentioned early that these two lines should be tangent to this circle so assuring that property to be true the circle has changed okay and then we shall use the tool perpendicular yeah here it is perpendicular so first we should draw two lines make sure these two are not perpendicular right these not are perpendicular so i will use the tool perpendicular click on this line and this line this and this yeah these are perpendicular and you will get a symbol here like it is a symbol here that it is perpendicular and similarly here you will get another symbol that double equal it's parallel and here another symbol which is which means it is tangent to this circle and now this tool this is concentric tool suppose let us assume here it is one circle and i have one more circle somewhere here and i need this circle to be in concentric to this circle then i click the this concentric tool click on the first circle and the second circle make sure that the center of the circle will remain to the circle in which the first circle was selected suppose if i select this circle as first the second circle will would come to the first one okay and then the another tool symmetricity it is one of the important and complex tool to understand so i will draw a square not a rectangle and then another rectangle see that the sizes of these rectangles are much different and then symmetric i would click this line and this line yeah these are symmetric and if i click this line see this and then again i would click this line this and this it has become in same size and similarly if i keep on doing this finally you will get that these two rectangles will become of same size okay so these are the some extra tools that can be applied to this 2d figures and in next lecture we will discuss about 3d figures thank you